the Great Attractor refers to an unknown space anomaly discovered to be at the centre of a supercluster. Unfortunately, scientists can't explain or get better information regarding the Great Attractor, as it appears to be in the zone of avoidance, which means that the majority of the space there is completely obscured by the energy created by the Milky Way galaxy. Gravitational measurements, however, show that the Great Attractor is not only pulling our own galaxy towards it, but all of the nearby galactic superclusters in our area. Although many scientific reports believe that the majority of surrounding space to be moving away from us at increasing speeds, many believe that this might be tied to the gravitational force of the Great Attractor, pulling the majority of the galaxies around us into its gravitational well. Estimates believe that the Great Attractor is a supermassive black hole that dwarfs the singularity at the centre of our galaxy by thousands of light years in distance. However, information surrounding this theory is incredibly limited, and this is by the zone of avoidance, and it looks like scientists won't be able to truly give scientific insight as to the cause until the human race learns the ability to travel outside of the Milky Way galaxy. This means that despite this natural phenomenon being the most influential event on our local galactic supercluster, humans may never learn the true nature as to its cause for the foreseeable future. NASA said the following about the Great Attractor on their website. A busy patch of space has been captured in this image from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. Scattered with many nearby stars, the field also has numerous galaxies in the background. Located on the border of the Southern Triangle and Norma, this field covers part of the Norma Cluster, as well as a dense area of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The Norma Cluster is the closest massive galaxy cluster to the Milky Way, and lies around 220 million light years away. The enormous mass concentrated here in the consequent gravitational attraction means that this region of space is known to astronomers as the Great Attractor and it dominates our region of the universe. Observing the Great Attractor is difficult at optical wavelengths. The plane of the Milky Way, responsible for the numerous bright stars in this image, both outshines with stars and obscures with dust many of the objects behind it. There are some tricks for seeing through this. Infrared or radio observations, for instance, but the region behind the center of the Milky Way where the dust is thickest remains an almost complete mystery to astronomers." End quote. The Great Attractor doesn't just affect the Milky Way galaxy, it affects most of the observable galaxies. It's estimated that the Great Attractor is over 150 million light years away, and it's pulling everything nearby towards it. As of right now, no one knows what it is. Every year space agencies are making incredible discoveries when it comes to space, and one of those is the abundance of planets found throughout the universe. It's nearly impossible for astronomers to get an accurate understanding of our universe, as only a very small portion of it is visible to even the most state-of-the-art telescopes. Much of this invisibility could come from the absorption of photons hidden behind dense clouds of gas the size of the telescope needed to capture small photons from great distances away, as well as a number of other strange factors surrounding the nature of our universe that we've yet to understand. With this limit on technology, you can imagine the incredible surprise to astronomers when new data surfaced that showed the existence of more than several hundred million new planets close to our galactic supercluster, of which we had no idea ever existed. This discovery was due to one unexpected error, and this was in recent imaging that the Hubble Space Telescope finally got right. Hidden behind star clusters within our Milky Way's halo, there resides a dwarf galaxy only a short 30 million light years away, 15 times further than that of the Andromeda galaxy. Not only does this new dwarf galaxy increase the size of our immediate galactic neighbourhood, but it also appears to be hurling towards the same direction as the Milky Way galaxy, of which would grow to the size of our galaxy in a short 20 billion years. Interestingly, NASA scientists have said that there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. There's hundreds of millions of galaxies, 
or teeming with millions or billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in our universe very high. This is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various star systems, in the hopes of finding life. One planet of particular interest is that of Kepler-452b. It's an exoplanet that's been coined as Earth's cousin. It was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, and NASA announced its discovery in July 2015. For many years, the conversation of finding another planet capable of supporting life has been relevant. Kepler-452b has a mass of five Earths, so it's much heavier and denser. NASA has confirmed that due to the larger size of Kepler-452b, the gravitational pull is also stronger than Earth's. It's been predicted that its surface is either rocky or icy and gaseous. Kepler-452b orbits a sun-like star, similar to the way Earth orbits the sun. The main issue confronting the exploration and further discovery of Kepler-452b is that it's incredibly far away from Earth. It's around 1,400 light-years away, meaning it would take a spacecraft approximately 26 million years to reach. This is a huge deterrent in learning more about Kepler-452b because we currently lack the transportation to get there. Unfortunately, this also means that current telescopes are very limited in their ability to determine more about the atmosphere or the condition of this planet. It's been predicted that Kepler-452b could possibly sustain life, due to its supposed similarities to Earth. NASA has stated that one of the main things a planet must have to support life is the ability for water to form on the surface of the planet. So what do you make of these recent space mysteries and discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.